Welcome to the first ever Thoughts on Thursday where I share what's been on my mind and you share what you think about it in the comments section below. But before we get into it, please, if you haven't already, subscribe, click the notification bell, like and share. I would appreciate it so much. So today I'm going to talk about why I'm doing this and share some of the ponderings I had uh, when I was younger. So I've always been a very thoughtful person and spent a lot of time in my room growing up thinking, dreaming, daydreaming, writing, um, singing, all those things, being creative. This is kind of the place where my creativity flows. So that's why I decided to film here in my bedroom. And, uh, it, you know, it started the, the process of being creative and, and liking to kind of write down my thoughts or think about my thoughts or whatever. When I got a diary at about eight or nine years old for Christmas and, um, I had kept a diary all the way until my late twenties, early thirties, been kind of slacking in the last 10 years or so. But, um, I really discovered that was a place I like to share the things that were going on in, in my mind and in my world. And, um, it was very therapeutic. And, um, so, you know, I, have like 18 diaries. It's kind of crazy. It's fun to go back and, and see what I was thinking about years ago. Um, and then I branched off to a sort of a thought journal where I still had my diaries that were more like what's going on the day to day, talking about guys I like, adventures I was having at the time. And my thought journal was more obscure, more writing poetry and scripture and, you know, just, I don't know, things I was thinking about at the time, nothing too specific. Um, and that was very enjoyable for me as well. Um, and recently, you know, uh, my mind has really been going. There's been a lot to think about in the world, and I'm sure many of you understand. Uh, and I decided, you know, I needed a place to kind of unload those thoughts and maybe share them with others, get ideas, opinions. Maybe you guys need to unload too and want to say how you feel about the topic that I'm discussing. Um, so, you know, that's what YouTube is for in a lot of ways. So I thought I'd just go with it. It was kind of something that's been, I don't know, in my spirit, and I thought, I'm just going to go with it. So we'll see where it goes. I don't know how long it will go for or, you know, exactly all the things I'll be talking about. Who knows? We'll just see what happens, but I appreciate you being here. Um, if this isn't your jam, no big deal. Stick to Music Mondays. I'll still be doing that, and I appreciate your support there. And today, I don't have any specific topic to talk about. Um, I just thought I, I got my little thought journal out. I thought it'd be kind of fun to share some of the things I was thinking about back in the day. Um, so the first one was kind of a little poem that I wrote. I was 12 years old and was transitioning into junior high. Um, I'm an oldest child, so I got to go on all these life-changing adventures first. And, you know, kind of had a hard time adjusting in the beginning. But I loved it after I was adjusted. But... Um, I, you know, was kind of feeling a lot of things, thinking a lot of things, and just wrote this poem one day. And so I will start reading that. Uh, there was no title or anything. It just starts. We're all alone in this world where everything wrong is right. People's hearts are dark as the night. Dreams we want never come true. Things we want always haunt our minds. We want to desperately tell our true feelings, but no, we stop. No one will understand what's in our hearts so small in their minds. Don't you see, we scream. But the only answer we get is the lonely silence of nothing. Big fat tears roll down our cheeks as we cry out for help, love, and understanding. And suddenly we think we're not alone in this world where everything wrong is right. Not all people's hearts are dark as night. There is a love stronger than any, the love of Jesus Christ. He tells us that he will never forsake us. He lifts our faces and tells us to smile. We feel warm and cozy in this world of hate, knowing that someone loves us when no one else does. For he will always be there to tuck us in and to kiss us goodnight and to wipe our tears and to sing us to sleep. So, um, you know, my spirit, my, my spiritual journey has always been a really important one in my life. And that definitely is present a lot in my thoughts and in my diaries. Um, this next one, I was a teenager and I wrote, it's weird to think that there's a reason for everything that happens in life, even the dumbest things. But I just have to remember that the reason things happen is for my own good cause and is slowly helping me prepare for the future events. So I must always remember that, so I must always remember that, and I must always trust God. So yeah, I was 16 when I wrote that. And then 
many years later, when I was 26, I had read over my old ponderings and um, decided just to make a little entry. And I put, I find myself here seven years later, this journal of thoughts, as I now refer to it, is starting to yellow. I'm so much more than I was when I last wrote. Older, wiser, experiences gained. Also some weight, but I will lose it. I started this as a dream journal, then my mom wrote some scriptures and a poem for encouragement. Then it became a place to write my thoughts or songs, poems, scriptures. It's funny how this book of random thoughts has helped mold me, especially during my teen years. Life has gone by so fast. I have reflected on that often in here, but it's really amazing. At the same time, I can look back on fond memories from 10 years ago and remember everything as if it happened yesterday. There are many times I long, oh, I long so badly to be back reliving some of those times. And someday I'll be longing for this moment right now. I will continue to try and live in the present time that my future self will recall so fondly, reminding myself that this moment will only happen again as a memory, so I better make the most of it so that my future self won't be disappointed. And since I opened with a poem, I will end with a poem that I wrote shortly after that last entry. We all have our own prisons we lock ourselves in. Some are nicer than others, more comfortable, more clean but it doesn't change the fact that we are bound by whatever is holding us down and shutting us in. A wide open field can feel claustrophobic. A small room full of people can be lonely. Where there is light, shadows are inevitable. Where is the freedom we are told we have? Where is the light at the end of the tunnel, the silver lining? It's there. Just as the roots and bulbs under the dirt bring forth new beautiful things after a dead gray winter, so does joy return to the sorrowful and peace to the tormented. Although we know this is true, hardships will pass, Sometimes if we search for the one who holds the key to our cells, we'll find it in our own hand, clenched between our tight fists. So that was thoughts from my past self. Next week, well not next week, but the week after because I'll be gone, we will be discussing thoughts of this self, this current self. And we are going to start with Marxism and communism, guys. Wow, that's a really heavy switch over from what I was just talking about, you know, my teenage ponderings to uh, Marxism and communism. You understand why, guys, uh, why that topic has been on my mind. And uh, I'm exploring it through The Great Courses Plus, which I'm not being sponsored by at all. But I think it's a great little app that has some good stuff to, um, you know, delve into and learn. I recommend it. Um, but I am doing a 12 part lecture about uh, the rise of communism and or Marxism, communism. And so I think I'm going to take it lecture by lecture. Now I'm not going to show you the whole lecture or go over the whole lecture in entirety. I'm just going to talk about some key things that I pulled from what I was learning and things that I don't know, trigger my mind to, to think. So I hope you will join me for that. And, um, you know, that's, that's all I got for today. But remember, these thoughts are my own. We may not always agree, but I still love you.